What does SELF stand for and what is it? Sure. Um, SELF is a nonprofit community lending organization and the acronym stands for Solar and Energy Loan Fund. And what we do as a nonprofit bank is try and provide homeowners with access to capital at reasonable interest rates so that they can make assorted uh, uh, home renovations that include air conditioning, solar products, solar water heaters, solar PV systems. We do uh, wind hazard mitigation, so we're doing everything from roofs to impact windows, hurricane shutters. So we're generally giving homeowners small loans between five and 15,000, and we're helping them uh, overcome that upfront cost and then be able to stretch out those payments and make them affordable. Um, and we really specialize in working with uh, low and moderate income communities and people who may not be able to get access to uh, uh, capital from traditional sources like banks. They may have had a credit issue at some point in their time. So our standards are less stringent than traditional banks. And in, the, in these communities, there are co-ops, solar co-ops being right. formed, and this is a way for people to, if they couldn't normally afford the upfront money for a solar system on their house, this is one way they can use to supplement the, to, to, in order to have enough money. Exactly. Tampa St. Pete has been leading the state trying to promote solar, and they've done these solar co-ops, which are essentially bulk rate purchase so that you can get uh, re major reductions on the cost of those systems. And then our nonprofit Green Bank provides financing for people so they can access those products at a reduced rate. And your group is part of the St. Petersburg Sustainability Summit. Correct, yes. Uh, we're looking forward to taking part in that event from 3 to 7 p.m. And we're going to be discussing ways that you can save energy, uh, how you can promote uh, clean energy. Uh, we have uh, information about different financing programs that are available. So it should be a really good event. Looking forward to it. So what are some ways that people can reduce their energy costs? Well, a lot of our clients are just doing a, a very basic uh, weatherization and high uh, efficiency air conditioning system. That wouldn't seem like a very complicated thing to do, but that in and of itself can traditionally cut maybe 20 to 25 percent of your energy use and your energy bills just by becoming more efficient. So once we are sealing the home and making it more efficient, then we begin to look at solar water heaters, which are very uh, well suited for families of three or four or more people who are using a lot of hot water. Uh, it's the most cost effective solar technology in the state. It's not that expensive, generally four or five thousand. And then the premium investment is to actually uh, create your own electricity from the sun through a solar photovoltaic system or a PV system. And that's what these uh, solar co-ops are doing is providing homeowners with access to drastically reduced pricing for solar PV. Is there anything else our listeners should know about the Solar and Energy lo uh, Loan Fund? Well, the Solar and Energy Loan Fund has uh, been in existence now for seven and a half years. We've done over seven million dollars of lending. We started out on the East Coast and we're now currently expanding into the Tampa St. Pete area. So we have partnerships with both the City of St. Petersburg and Hillsborough County, new offices and new staff. Uh, so we're now available to help people throughout the Tampa Bay region do clean energy projects and resilience, you know, harden the home. and. Uh, a lot of it has uh, the ability to make the home more comfortable and valuable as well. So we're looking forward to uh, working over on the West Coast and hopefully helping thousands of homeowners here get access to money at reasonable rates. Well, great. Thanks for your time. Right. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.